Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So if you're on any sort of social media and you have probably then seen the um, chrome powder video that has just gone um, viral. Candy Johnson who's um, another YouTuber and I actually I do follow her so I saw the video pretty quickly um, because I follow her on her Instagram posted um this video of her getting her nails done um of this chrome powder being used over black gel polish and it actually making it sort of a mirror shine and like chrome so obviously the whole nail world has just gone mad absolutely mad um we've had so many people contacting magpie asking if they do anything for it um i've had so many messages i can't tell you about where to get it from um, what I would suggest, all this different type of stuff. There's also been some controversy, obviously, as well, with some of the um, chrome products out there actually being only for cars. So they're not cosmetic grade. So they are completely unsafe to use on your nails. You shouldn't be inhaling them, nothing like that. So there's been a whole, whole thing going on um, the past sort of few weeks. So, um, but... Then something amazing happened. Um, Sarah R, who is also another YouTuber, I will link her YouTube and the video that I'm going to talk about down below. Um, she's a friend of mine as well, so I did sort of ask her if it was okay to do this video and use her method. Um, she did a video on doing chrome nails using the Magpie Dusts. She's a genius. Sarah Shakespeare is also a genius who obviously owns Magpie. Um, basically we're going to utilise the products that you might already have um, or something that is more accessible to you and is completely safe to use on the nails. Magpie dusts are cosmetic grade, they are made for your nails so this whole thing has just become totally accessible for everybody and everybody's clients because as well quite a lot of people already own the dust. So Sarah R did this um, tutorial, which I said I'll leave down below, um, of how to use the dust with gel polish to get the chrome effect. So she used um, a no wipe top coat. She used um, the Madame Glam no wipe top coat, which I'll use today to show you. Um, but I'm also going to try out some more products. So I've got the Candy Coat no wipe top coat as well. So Madame Glam is sort of a US based <coughs> a US based um, product so it can obviously take up to a week to arrive but it is a really good product. Then you've got Candy Coat which as well is a bit cheaper and it's UK based so you'll get it quicker. So I'll go through both of those with you but also obviously for people who have um, products like Gelish and OPI um, or you know shellac things like that they don't have a no wipe top coat so I'm going to show you how to do the chrome nail effects with normal top coat I haven't tried this out myself this is going to be a complete complete new test on camera but there is a way to do it I've seen loads of people doing it um, it might just require a bit of a different method, but I'm going to try those two out as well. So these pops are uh, Magpie Dust Tiara. Um, we've got one over black and one over silver. Completely different looks and it depends on what you want or your client wants. Um, I personally really like both, but they obviously do look quite different. So it's completely up to you. For this one, I use the Madame Glam no wipe top coat and then for this one I used the candy coat top coat no wipe top coat so but what I'll do is I'll show you to, how to do that all on camera and then right at the end I'm going to show you loads and loads of swatches of the whole magpie dust collection including the Too Faced collection um, over some different colours so but we'll get straight into the sort of demo section so one of the um, products that you're going to need to be able to do this is actually um, one of these sponge eyeshadow applicators. So I'm going to show you all on black today just for sort of continuity purposes. So 
you would have done your um you know prep your base coat the and your first layer of black this is my second layer of black so i'm going to cure that in my lamp for the full time okay so we'll do it how sarah r did it first of all with madame glam no wipe top coat so this is the one that you can get from america and i think it's about twenty dollars something like that so I'm just going to do a really sort of thin layer of top coat over the entire nail. Then making sure to cap the free edge and then I'm going to cure that in my lamp. So then I'm going to get my Magpie Dust in Tiara which is the silver one. So you can see it in there. Then I'm going to get my eyeshadow applicator and I'm going to dip it into the pot. And basically I'm just going to start rubbing this onto the no wipe top coat. Now I know that people are a bit confused about what it sticks to. Apparently there is still some sort of film that it sticks to on the no wipe top coat. So, And can you hear that squeak? that's what you want so then we're just gonna brush off all the excess so you can see how beautiful and chrome that has gone so now we're going to top coat again you have to top coat this again otherwise the dust is just gonna come straight off um, I'm just gonna use the Madame Glam no wipe top coat again and like always, I always top coat twice. So this is my first layer of top coat, then I'm going to top coat again after this one has cured, making sure obviously to cap the free edge as well. So and there you have the first chrome nail using Madame Glam. So now we get on to using the Candy Coat No Wipe Top Coat. So I've got my black pop already here, so this is my second layer of cured colour so then I'm going to get the super shiny no wipe top coat by Candy Coat which I know a lot of you have brought so I'm just going to put a thin layer all over the nail top cap in the free edge and then we're going to cure that in the lamp so then again I'm going to get Tiara. Okay, so I'm going to get my eyeshadow applicator brush and we're just going to do exactly the same thing as we did before. So again, as you can see, it's clinging really nicely to the no wipe top coat. For this one, I don't think it squeaks personally um so i would just leave it there just until i you know for the candy coat one just keep doing it <clears throat> until um you get the effect that you want so it doesn't take long at all so now like before i'm going to top coat this twice again and i'm just going to use the candy coat top coat as well making sure to cap the free edge so and there you have it with the candy coat top coat so so next to the Madame Glam top coat as you can see they both look exactly the same super super chrome so now we get on to using the normal top coats and we'll see how that goes so I've got my black pop here um, second colour coat of cured so I'm going to use OPI's top coat and again just do a thin layer of top coat all over the nail making sure to cap the free edge and I'm going to cure that in my lamp 
Okay, so that's now been cured. So this obviously has a tacky layer. If you apply tiara straight onto this, it is going to look like a dust because it's sticking to the tacky layer. So we want to get rid of that tacky layer, but we don't want to introduce any gel cleanser, any alcohol, any acetone, nothing like that. So I'm gonna get a lint-free wipe and this is completely dry. There is nothing on here. So, and we are going to wipe over the whole nail to get rid of that tacky layer. Just like that. So, tiara again with our eyeshadow applicator. Now I haven't tried this, remember, let's see if it works. Yep. So exactly the same as before. And can you hear that squeak? That's what we like to hear. So again, perfectly, perfectly done. So just gonna wipe off some of the excess. So now again, I'm going to top coat this twice with my OPI gel top coat cap in the free edge so then we're just going to put some gel cleanser onto another lint free wipe don't use the one that you've just used and now I'm going to remove the tacky layer from that second top coat and there you have it so in comparison to the other two that I've just done so this one here is with candy coat this one here is with Madame Glam and this one is the one that I've just done with OPI and they all look exactly the same so let's get on to the final test of using gelish so just like before I've just got my black pop so this would be your second coat of colour. Going to add a thin layer of gelish, top it off. Cut the free edge. Now I'm going to cure that in my lamp. Okay, so that's now cured. So like the OPI one, this has now got a tacky layer on it. So we want to get our dry lint free wipe and dry wipe the tacky layer from the top coat so we don't want to introduce any gel cleanser or alcohol or acetone to this just want to dry wipe it then grabbing tiara and our eyeshadow applicator and we're just going to start rubbing this on and already that nice squeak is coming So let's just brush off some of that excess. So then, it, like before, I'm just going to top coat these nails twice, curing in my lamp between each layer, making sure to cap the free edge. So and again, now I'm just gonna get another lint-free wipe with some gel cleanser on it and I'm just gonna remove the inhibition layer of that final top coat. So here we have all the other ones. So this one here is Madame Glam. This is with Candy Coat, this is with OPI, and then this is with Gelish. So in the order that I've just done it. And they all look the same. Look at that mirror shine, you can see my reflection. So, as you can see, you can use any of the products that you have. Obviously, with the no wipe top coat, um, it's easier, I think. Um, but you can still just utilise what you have. You don't need to have a no wipe top coat at all. So, now I'm going to show you some swatches of all of the other dust.
so and there you have the entire video guys so i hope that you like this video please go and check out sarah r's video as well um i hope you liked all the swatches as well i'm going to be keeping all of these swatches to show to my clients please like and subscribe for future video guys and i'll see you all again soon bye